Welcome to part two of our Learn English with Harry Potter series. Today we're looking at the wonderful British accent of Hagrid. Just play me a bit of music and he falls straight to sleep. I shouldn't have told you that. I'm going to break down the different pronunciation features of his accent and I'm going to show you how you can speak just like Hagrid. So if you're ready, let's do this. <laughs> Welcome to Eat Sleep Dream English. My name is Tom and I teach fresh modern British English so that you can take your English to the next level and achieve your life goals, whatever they may be. If you're a Harry Potter fan and you love learning English, I have the perfect thing for you. All the Harry Potter books are now on Audible. Audible is a platform for audio books. So you get to listen to the Harry Potter stories as you are on the train, at school, uh, on the bus, wherever you might be. Now, all the Harry Potter books are read by Stephen Fry, who is an absolute legend, and he brings the stories to life. He has the most magical voice. Now, Audible are offering a 30-day free trial, and you get one free audiobook. So you can choose Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, for example. You can download it to your phone, and you can listen to the story and practice your English at the same time. I think it's amazing. If you would like to do this, guys, there is a link just below this video. Click on it and it will take you to Audible. Now Hagrid's magnificent accent is actually a West Country accent. It's very strong. Now the West Country is quite a broad term here. It includes counties like Cornwall, Devon, Dorset, Somerset. Now Hagrid's accent is fantastic and it's really impressive because Robbie Coltrane, the actor who plays Hagrid, is actually from Scotland. So he does a really good job. This accent, you might have heard it before. It's commonly associated with pirates. Now the reason for this is there was a film many many years ago called Treasure Island with an actor called Robert Newton who played Blackbeard and he came from Devon so this area and he used his West Country accent. If you think about uh, some of the main sounds they make, the R and the far and the yar. The R sound is extremely strong and that's because the West Country accent has a rhotic R. It's a very strong R. Whereas other accents in Britain don't really have a strong R, in the West Country, it's there. So for example, <laughs> Ain't a soul knows how, except for me and Dumbledore. Dumbledore, that extra R at the end there. A rhotic R exists in America, but in other parts of Britain, as I said, it doesn't really exist, but it does in the West Country accent. So whenever there's an R, particularly at the end of a word like car and far, then you'll have that strong R sound. Dumbledore. <laughs> Ain't a soul knows how, except for me and Dumbledore. Yeah, but what if you don't like Romania? What if you don't like Romania? Right, lots going on there. First of all, we have that non-standard verb agreement there, he don't. That's common in the West Country accent. It should be he doesn't in standard English, but in, um, in, in the West Country, he don't. We've also got the dropping of H there. It's not he, it's E, right? E don't. Yeah, but what if he don't like Romania? So H's are usually dropped, but not always. So Hagrid sometimes does use an H. For example, here. If it hadn't been for you, Harry, I would... Uh... I'd still be you know where. So. Right? He said Harry, not Harry. Harry. And again here. More to the point, they've yet to think of a spell that our Hermione can't do. So Hermione. Hermione. So he's using the H. Whereas in the previous example, E's, he's dropping the H. Now we've also got a long articulation of the vowel sound. So instead of saying don't, he went don't. Don't. It's a longer sound. Yeah, but what if he don't like Romania? He does that a lot. Let's look at another example. Call me a mudblood. He did not. He did not. Not. Right, you'll notice there, first of all, you'll notice actually that he did say the H there, he. Okay, so there's a bit of inconsistency here. But then with the not, it's not not, it's not. Not. So that longer vowel sound, very common in the West Country accent. I'm the only family he's got. I'm the only family he's got. Got again there, not got, got. So long vowel sound. Did you also notice there, he's was ease, so he did drop the H there. And if we go to the beginning, I, that again is an extended sound. It's not I, it's I'm. Slightly different sound, huh? Let's listen to that again. I'm the only family he's got. We'll look at that sound again later on. There's some wizards, like the Malfoy family, 
who think they're better than everyone else because they're what people call pure blood. Okay, this is really interesting. He said the word blood, but he said blood, blood. Now let's just quickly track back. We have a split of sounds here. So if we have put, the uh sound, and put, the ah sound, these two sounds exist in received pronunciation, in Cockney accents, uh, in uh, estuary English, in the southern accents. But that split happens in the north where they don't actually have the ah sound. The put, that ah sound, doesn't exist. It's uh all the time. So it would be booked, put, blood, etc. Now in the West Country, they do have that split, that, that divide between put and put, the ah uh and uh. However, the ah uh sound isn't articulated like that. It's not ah, uh, it's pronounced with a schwa sound. So instead of saying blood, it's blood, blood, the uh sound, blood. So slightly different. So instead of saying put, it's put. Instead of saying but, it's but. So it's a little different there, and you can see, you can hear it perfectly when he says blood. We think they're better than everyone else because they're what people call pure blood. Hagrid, have you combed your hair? As a matter of fact, I have. Okay, a few things going on there. First of all, we've got the glottal T, which is very common in British English accents. So not matter, it's matter, matter. So he's glottalizing that T. He doesn't articulate it fully. Matter, matter. The I again is I, I, and then have. The longest vowel sound of all time there. I have, I have. Now, does he articulate the H or not? Let's listen again. As a matter of fact, I have. Okay, so he does articulate the H there. Have, have. So sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't. Ain't no one gonna get past Fluffy. <laughs> okay, ain't no one gonna get past Fluffy. Ain't. Okay, this is a great piece of non-standard English. Here, really, what we would say in standard English is there isn't anyone that can get past Fluffy. There isn't anyone. But um, in the West Country and in other accents in Britain, uh, ain't can be used to in, in the negative there. So instead of there isn't anyone, he's saying ain't no one. Ain't no one gonna get past Fluffy. Okay, what a lot of fun. So many different pronunciation features there of Hagrid. Okay, now it's your turn. Let's see if you can say these sentences just like Hagrid. Good luck. Yeah, but what if he don't like Romania? Ain't no one gonna get past Fluffy. <laughs> I'm the only family he's got. He did not. How did you do? Was it okay? All right, a bit of fun. If you need to, go back, practice, and try again. <laughs> Let's try and make the world full of Hagrids. That's, that's my aim, is to, to get everyone speaking English just like Hagrid. <laughs> what a wonderful world that would be. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, guys, then please share this with anyone you know that's learning English. Please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and, of course, get ready for part three of this Learn English with Harry Potter series. This is Tom, the Chief Dreamer, saying goodbye.